For the key area of AI and 5G, we are transforming current wireless design approaches from model-based to data-driven, using real-world data to address model mismatch in complex communication systems. We are focusing on joint training, model sharing, and distributed inference across networks and devices, adapting to evolving deployments, devices, and services. More importantly, an AI-based dynamic air interface could reap the benefit of fast evolving neural network technology without waiting for the long specification update cycle. In this simulation demo, we are focusing on how cross-node machine learning can enable efficient explicit channel state feedback for an advanced massive MIMO system. Here is the setup of our simulation. While we have simulated a massive MIMO system with multiple genomes, for the purpose of the illustration, we are only focusing on a small section of the deployment. We see one Genobi deployed here with 10 devices scattered across the city, sending data in both uplink and downlink directions. In the baseline release 16 type 2 codebook-based CSI, the device sent back implicit channel feedback to the network as a part of the uplink. The quantized feedback is in the form of preferred downlink beam combinations. In the second case with machine learning, the device sends explicit CSI feedback to the Genobi. This explicit channel feedback framework allows for customized, low overhead feedback based on individual device channel condition and delivers more efficient multi-user multiplexing. In this simulation, we can see that the overall system downlink capacity has improved significantly and reduced uplink overhead compared to release 16 baseline. This new dynamic air interface enables faster evolution driven by enhancements in neural networks. As this simulation demonstrates, machine learning can bring better performance and efficiency to the 5G system by exploiting a new data-driven design approach for the air interface, and we're excited to be driving the complementary evolution of 5G and AI into future standards, as well as real-world end-to-end system implementations. 5G has been envisioned to be the unified connectivity platform. To realize this vision, 5G is evolving in Release 17 to address the needs of lower complexity IoT devices and services. 5G NR Lite, also known as REDCap in 3GPP, scales down 5G NR to support a maximum bandwidth of 20 MHz in sub-7 GHz frequencies. The continued evolution of NR Lite in Release 18 and beyond will expand its reach, scaling to even narrower bandwidths and enabling new capabilities, including sidelink support. In this demonstration, we illustrate a GNode B that provides wide area coverage to the devices in range. We have chosen three relevant, representative, low-complexity IoT use cases that we will take a closer look at next. In this first supply chain use case, we see a truck that's carrying cargo with different sensors inside the metallic enclosure. In the baseline, these low-power sensors have difficulties communicating to the wide area network due to power limitation and additional penetration loss incurred inside the truck. The NR light evolution introduces sidelink that allows these sensors to communicate directly to a relay on the truck at much lower transmit power and achieve extended coverage. The reduced transmit power also leads to improvement in device power consumption. If the cargo with the sensors are removed from the truck, they can still maintain connectivity with the GNODE-B directly through the NR Lite Evolution Link without the need for a relay device. In the second use case, a medical tracker is initially connected to the wide area network directly as an NR Lite device, consuming the baseline amount of power. Introduction of NR Lite evolution with sidelink support allows the medical tracker to connect directly to the user's smartphone, which acts as a relay between the tracker and the GNOD B. This reduces the tracker's power consumption and extends the variable's battery life. In this last use case, we initially see the bicycle tracker connected to the wide area network via release 17 NR Lite link. With NR Lite evolution, the same communication can happen over a much narrower channel bandwidth, and this reduces the device's power consumption. In conclusion, NR Lite in release 17 and its evolution in release 18 and beyond can more efficiently support lower complexity IoT devices, providing power enhancements as well as range extension through the new sidelink capability. Another longer term research topic is the disaggregation of the 5G device stack, which will allow the 5G system to support new subscription models and richer user experience for services hosted on 
tether devices. We are now seeing the trend of 5G network disaggregation driven by the rise of virtualization and ecosystem initiatives like ORAN. Disaggregation creates a more open and interoperable network that can deliver enhanced performance and efficiency. Disaggregation is supported at the 5G core network through service-based edge cloud architecture and splitting of the control and user plane functions. We see similar control and user plane splits in the radio access network in addition to the disaggregation into central, distributed and radio units. Today only the devices that are directly connected to the network are visible to the network with a single device subscription over single physical link. The concept of device disaggregation is to split the protocol stack layers across devices so that multiple device subscriptions can be supported via a single physical connection. The group of tether devices are visible to the network while connected via both 3GPP and non-3GPP interfaces to the relay. There are multiple relaying architecture options that are being currently discussed in 5G standards. A layer 3 relay provides no 5G connection to the tether devices and only application level quality of service is supported. With an m layer 3 relay with N3 IWF function, the 5G no core network connection is extended to the tether devices and some 5G performance benefits can be realized. The layer 2 relay option can fully optimize the performance of tether devices with 5G core and radio access network connection extended to them. In conclusion, device stack disaggregation brings many benefits. It supports easy device management with individual subscription for multiple tether devices over a single 5G physical connection. It delivers 5G end-to-end -end security and optimized quality of service for tether devices. It provides 5G session continuity and seamless mobility and lastly, it enhances user experience for services hosted on tether devices such as extended reality.